Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Stormworks video and welcome to part 21 of the supply ship build. In today's episode, we're going to be working on the interior. We've got a few things we need to finish off, such as labeling and connecting all the buttons that we've already put in, as well as add a few more dials, sensors, and cameras. I'm hoping to have the boat completely finished by next episode, so that way we can test it out and do a couple of missions. But anyway guys, without further ado, let's get started. Alrighty, so let's get started. Now, we haven't worked on this thing for a while, so I can't really remember what we're up to, but um, we'll see how we go. <laughs> but let's start with this little seat right here. Now, what I want to do, I want to put a little monitor in right here. We're going to grab that one. Perfect. And we're going to chuck it right there and stand that up. Very good. All right, so we'll just give that a quick paint as well. Blend it all in and boop. Now, how I want this to work, I want you to be able to push number one on the seat here, and that will turn on that monitor. So we'll just go uh, power on, just like that. Now, we do have a little controller down here I want to connect this up to. Let's go all the way down, and that will go to that one there, the C depth monitor. Now, I also want that to be up here at the front as well onto that little screen there. I'm putting on this one as well because I don't know what else to put there. So, um, yeah, it's going to be there as well. <laughs> <laughs> and there we have it um, displayed in front of our faces right here. Now, since we're doing all the screens and whatnot, let's add a few cameras on. So let's go camera. Um, just very basic. Let's go for some medium cameras. Let's see if we can fit one on the front here. If I put something in there, is that going to cause problems? Probably. Maybe instead of being up there, let's backspace that. And I might put one down the front here instead. That could be all right. So let's grab a couple blocks, just go like that. And we're going to medium camera and we're going to set it right here and turn that around the right way perfect so that will be camera one so we're going to need i think three of these and then the map for that big screen so we're gonna have one there let's go maybe one facing off the back all the way maybe under here should be a-okay -okay. go like this we'll put one right there as well very good so that is one two and then maybe we could put one right at the very back uh, like back here so if we're backing up to a dock or something we can see how close we are so maybe that's probably good, a good idea so let's go like this chuck one right there as well so now we have three cameras let's paint that the right color and up there it doesn't really matter very good so now we need the video switch box so if i can spell video correctly we have this one right here so we have four inputs this will be the map and then the three cameras we just put in so let's grab this and we're going to chuck it into the controller room whereabouts is that just here very good so we might just chuck this on the wall like this can i get to go this way there we go very good all right so now we do have the map here but i don't think i want that one anymore i'm going to put the normal map that we usually use so let's chuck that in right now this one here we'll turn that around get it on the wall the correct way Boop. very good all right so the first output will be the maps that will go to number one then number two will be the front camera so we'll bring that all the way up to there very good and we'll head back down into here and number three whereabouts is it this one right here will be that camera over the deck and then the last camera will be the backup camera <laughs> uh run right at the back down here so we'll connect that up to that one very good so that should be all of them yes it is very good all right and then the output for that will be all the way up onto the big screen up here very good nice now, we will need a button to switch that over as well, won't we? So maybe we can just put a little a little push button um, up in here. We'll be okay. So we'll just chuck that right there. Very good. Now, we just paint that the right color as well. Good. And that will be named Change Screen. Just like that. Very good. So now we will grab this little button, push button, and connect that down to the controller, which is that one right there, I believe. Yes, it is. Good. All right. Now, just while we're down here, let's connect up the map. So we've got GPS Y. Uh, which is that one gps x will go up to there and i don't think do we have a compass yes we do good so we'll connect that up to there very good what are these going to what's this one here radar display okay yep cool that's on the other side i think very good uh, so this will come up to the screen so let's do that now connect up to there awesome is there any other outputs on that one let's just have a quick look no, I do believe we've got all of it. Very good. Um, so we still do have a fair few controls to make up for some of this stuff in here. None of this is labeled either. So maybe we should probably get this out of the way. So this is all the ballast controls. So we have front, rear, left, and right. So we should probably label all these. Yeah, nothing's labeled. Just fill and empty. So it doesn't say which ballast it is or anything. So let me quickly sort this out and I'll be back in just a moment. All right, so they are all labeled. Very good. So it's just very basic. Fill front empty front and then save the left right and the rear one very good so what have we got here we have i think these are our anchors yep so they're all labeled up i believe yes they are that will be fine now down here what have we got i think we need a controller for this yes we do this is not connected to anything all right so maybe 
boiler. I've spelled that wrong. <laughs> there we go, boiler temp. So maybe we could make this controller on camera, I suppose. Let's do that. Uh, so we're going to need one, two, three, four, five. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, one more, and we're going to make this slightly bigger. There we go. We'll just chuck that over there. Now, these are all going to be input for numbers. Very good. Number, number, and then this will be an output composite. So we'll put that there. Now, what are the names of all the things we need? Let's go back into that one here. So we have reactor temp, boiler temp. So let's add those ones in. So that's those two. Let's go back and see what the other ones are. Boom. And then we have gen output and boiler pressure. So let's add those two in as well. There we go. That is all done. Nice. So I think that's all we need in there. Let's spread all of these out. I assume I have them in the right order. <laughs> Let's just make sure one, two, three, and this one before. Awesome. So one, two, three. Okay, they're all right anyway. Good. So composites. Let's get our little piece out. Is it this one we need? Yes, it is. All right. So a couple of these ones and boop. Very good. Let's connect all of these up. Boop. And like that. Good, then bring all these up together like that. And then we just have our little inputs over there. Very good. Oh, well, that was our output. Actually, it's a labeled input for some reason. But anyway, so this one is number two. Let's go number three on this one and number four for the last one. Good, that should be all of it. So we'll quickly name this and then we'll spawn it in. And here it is right here, supply ship six. Okie dokie. So let's go and chuck that down in the room, which I can never seem to find. It's this one here, isn't it? Yes, it is. Good. Alrighty. Uh, this wall is getting, <laughs> there's a lot going on on this wall. That's all right. We'll turn it around and we'll just chuck it over there. That should be a-okay. Now, let's get our little bits and pieces. So reactor temp, where do we get that from? Is this some um, boiler pressure, boiler temp, reactor temp? So where's that one coming from? Down there, nuclear fuel. Okay, the rod temperature, I suppose. That'll have to do. So we'll chuck that up to reactor temp. Then we have generator outputs. Um, do we don't have these on a control yet, do we? No. So let's get an add. Um, we'll just get these two. So it's just the two generators we got, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay. So let's bring that over into the room here. We'll just chuck it down this corner here. Turn that around. Boop. Alrighty. So that will go from one generator and we'll get the output from the other one as well. Can I? No, I can't even see over there. Let's have a look. See, and we'll grab this one. And then we'll come all the way up to our controller and we'll go up to there. And this is our gen output. So we'll go gen output. Then we have boiler temp. Are we getting that from somewhere as well? Boiler temp, there it is. That's coming from there, the boiler temperature. <laughs> That'll probably do it. And then we have the steam boiler fluid volume. Is that the same as the pressure? I'm not too sure, actually. I have it labeled down here as the boiler pressure. Uh, let's just assume that's right then. Boiler pressure, number four. <laughs> <laughs> that'll do and then we're going to bring this up to our little control box up here which one is it this one at the front very good so we'll connect it up to there and that should be that one finished all right so the next thing i'd like to do is add a couple more dials sitting up here now the first one being an artificial horizon followed by a clock so let's go artificial horizon we'll go one of these just so we can see what kind of angles and that we're on um we'll turn that around that way yep that's right and then we're going to need a clock that's a thing isn't it yes it is i've never used these before so we'll just turn that around that way is up that should be right then and then obviously we have all our details down here we have our start button there as well so that is for the electronics we do need buttons for all the lights as well so do we have an interior lights button up here we should do i think we've done it but i haven't no, we haven't got a button for that. Okay, let's just quickly do that while we're here. Let's get a little toggle button. Um, we'll grab this. What if we just put it on the side over here? It's probably fine. We'll do it on both sides as well, though. We'll just got like one there and there, and then we can have an external output for the other one. That'll be fine. This will be lights, just like that. Good. We'll copy that, and we're going to do the same thing on this side as well. Boop, and paste. Awesome. So this one will go on to all the lights. So let's connect this up to all of these. Jesus, that. Fair few up here in their lights. Um, we've got a few more lights everywhere. <laughs> Go like that. Is that all of them? One more there. That should be everything, I think. I do believe that's everything. Um, we could have that for the backlights as well, I suppose. Backlights. So we might do that for all of these, actually. Backlights for everything. Boom, 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 boom. And I think that's it. That is all the backlights we need. No, there's some more over here. <laughs> what are these controls? What on earth do these do? I haven't, I haven't worked with this thing for so long, man. Nav lights, interior lights. Oh, so we have buttons for this. We already have an interior lights button and nav lights. Uh, they're not connected up to anything. No, they're not. Okay, what's this one here do? Uh, helipad lights. Okay, we haven't got any of this. I'm going to get rid of all of that. <laughs> um, 
Or should we leave it there? We'll just take the interior lights off. That should be all right, actually. Yeah, let's just do that. Uh, since we've already got it. Now, we need an external input to come from there over to there. And that should work. Hopefully, it should do. And also, just looking, we have our little pivots for these. But we don't have any controls hooked up for these yet, do we? All right. So, let's just go constant on number. Constant number. That'll be fine. Where can we put this? We just have to put it downstairs, I suppose. Just like everything else. So this video is going to be all over the place in case you can't already tell. But um, I just want to get this shit finished so we can move on to something else, to be completely honest with you. <laughs> um, I want to get it done. I want to quickly use it and then move on to something else. Another build series would be pretty good. Uh, but for now, we need to finish this off. So they're both in the minus radio. So let's head back down to where we put that controller uh, that is sitting down here. So this has to be in the minus zero point. Oh, what if we just go two? Would that be okay? It should be fine. Uh, oh, geez, where'd that just go? There it is, boop. And we'll put that up to both of these. We go boing and boing. So that should be both of those finished. Now, also just on our helm here, we can have number one can put the cameras in infrared mode. So we go down to that camera and then we'll have the other camera. Whereabouts is it sitting right there? Very good. And we have one more sitting right at the back and boom, very good. All right, so let's go and label the helm now. Just like that, very good. Before we forget, alrighty. Now, we need to get rid of the interior lights button on this one. So let's get rid of that. That can go. And we might replace that with spotlights. That should be okay. So we'll go like that. And we do need to make a controller for that, don't we? <laughs> and what's number two? Nav lights. Okay, so that's this one's on the top there. And then we have helipad lights over there. Right. Is there any other lights that we need? Well, we have these rear deck spotlights sitting up in these corners, so maybe we can add that to the list. So we'll go over to here, and what do we got on number one up there? Helipad lights. Let's go rear deck lights, just go like that, or spotlights, maybe. Uh, spotlights, just like that. We might put that back to a button and toggle on number two. And I'm going to change this from a flip switch as well to a button on toggle. All right, so we have rear deck spotlights, and then I might add another one on number three on here. This will be rear deck lights um, instead of the spotlights. Uh, so we'll go like this, button toggle on three, and then we'll go and add a few lights on the back deck here that can light up along the side. I think that's important. So we'll go lights. Let's grab a few of these, and we're on both sides already. Good. All right, so whereabouts can we put these? Maybe just on these posts will probably be okay. Turn them around like put one there. Let's actually... You know what? Let's do this in yellow. Uh, that's probably best so we don't have to worry about painting at all. Go like that. We'll put some there. And then maybe just every few or maybe one there, one in the middle. And we can have one at the back. No, how many missing there? Three. One, two, th oh, where are we? One, two, three. And we can put one above the hatch, I suppose. Would that be a-okay? That's probably fine. That's probably enough. And then we'll go boom. And we're going to make these just a little bit darker, just like that. Very good. So that will be those sorted are there any other lights that we need that we haven't done yet so i actually believe that is everything at least like all i can think of for now why is that not the right color um can we paint that please very good make that blue that weird bluey color okay good so they're all done they should tilt back as well hopefully uh, but i think what we can do we can actually get rid of the rest of these now so if we go like this make that none do the same with number four there and then we've got number four on this one none so that should be the only lights that we need, actually. Jeez, this boat's all over the place, man. <laughs> I wish I thought the whole boat through a little bit better before I just started adding random things. But anyway, <laughs> not much we can do about it now. Um, so that needs a bit of paint there. That's red. Everything should be A-OK. -okay. Now, the last thing I wanted to do before I finish off making controls and whatnot is... Let's go down here. We do have this big space. Uh, oh, we did this on both sides as well. So let's get rid of that one. Bye-bye. Um, I might add another bedroom on this side just to kind of use up the space, I think. So maybe we'll just... I was going to copy a whole bedroom. Maybe we won't do that. I might just build it separately. Um, so we have two ways down at the moment, don't we? Okay, we don't really need that. But anyway, I'm just going to leave it there for now. Um, so if we come out to the same as what this one's at, which is there. All right, so fill that in. Good. And then we're going to bring that all the way back over to there. Nice. So what we'll do, we'll delete all of that. And we're going to put a few wedges in. Very nice. And tilt them around this way. Come all the way up. Good. Fix up that gray all the way along and all the way along the bottom. Very carefully. Boop. Nice. And then we're just going to chuck a little door on. Oh, that's a bit annoying. It's two blocks further out than this room. Uh, is there anything on that wall? No. Let's get rid of it. <laughs> let's make it a little bit bigger. 
Uh, so if we just come out and do the same as this, you know what I should have done? I should have just copied it. Anyway, let's grab this side. <laughs> uh, is that the whole thing? I believe it is actually. Is that all the way up to the top? Yes, it is. All right, we'll come down. Sorry about that. Just boom and copy. And then we'll just flip it around like this. What do we got going on here? Boom, boom. All right, let's chuck it on right there. Perfect. Paste and merge that one together. And we've just got to fix up that door, don't we? Uh, okay. <laughs> just make a little hole like this. That didn't do it on both sides because they're in different spots, aren't they? Far out, man. Okay. Okay, I'm making a few mistakes here. That's right. Let's get a door out. And we're going to use, maybe just use some sliding doors. Be fine with the lock type. That would be ideal. Get rid of all of that. Chuck it in uh, like this. Boop. One right there. And then we're going to do the same thing over here as well. So we'll turn that around and we'll just go like that. So that is roughly the same as that side. Good. Now we'll grab some blocks, fill that back in, and then we'll just fix up the color again, I suppose. Go gray along there and along here and fix all of this up. Boom. And I painted it all. There we go. And then we've got to fix up this side as well. All right. So that is mostly finished. We do have some pipes in here, which I want to get out of the way. Whereabouts do they come from? Just down there. All right, let's get rid of this, get rid of all of that, and these two as well. We're just going to fill that back in like that, and I don't want them in the bedroom, so let's bring them through whatever this wall is here. Can we... Oh, what, double wall? Double wall? Okay, that's a bit strange. <laughs> uh, we'll get rid of that. Let's just go pipe, and we're just going to make this work. So we'll just come over like that. Can it just spill out there? No, let's go up a bit more. Okay, that's fine. We'll grab a straight piece, go along, and then we're going to bring it back into that engine room there. So then we come through the wall, go like this, grab a couple of these ones, connect up to there, go one, two, and then we just fill that back in. Good. And then we need to come up and around this somehow because we need to come up a couple of blocks, don't we? Yes. Okay. What if we come through the floor then? This is, this is all over the place, man. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Okay. What if we actually come up through the wall here? That might be a bit better. We'll grab an angle, come around like that. Good. Grab a straight piece. We're going to come up, so we'll go one, two, three, good. And then we're going to fill all of this back in. If I go like that, yep, just like, okay, let's just click it all. There we go, nice. So that's the floor done, go along like that. And then that can just spill out the top up here. So we'll grab a little port, um, if I could spell, there we go. And then we'll come out like that, nice. <laughs> back to some pipes. We're going to build these up, one, two, three, grab an angle, and out it goes. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Very well done. Uh, let's fix up this bit of floor that I mucked up. Go boop, just like that. And we're going to grab some orange and fix up those bits of pipe. Good. we got a bit of floor to fix up in here as well. And let's finish off the bedroom. Then we'll go and fix up the paint underneath there. So in here, we don't actually have a window. Oh, for goodness sake. Uh, that needs to be yellow as well, doesn't it? Um, We can't put... Oh, can we put a window in there somewhere? We, we probably could. I don't know. What do we got? How many gap have we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight gap. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we could probably have one right there. That's too close to that one, though. I might just leave it. I might just leave it like that. Uh, we get a bed. We'll just chuck it here, I guess. Oh, goodness me, man. Uh, we go along like that, and we come up like so. What a, what a lovely detailed bedroom. <laughs> come along like this, boop, and along like that. Finish that off, and just go like that okay what color are the other beds let's go and have a quick sticky beak okay so they're just the same color as the floor with some white sheets and pillows all right so we're going to do the same thing and some white for that and that perfect lovely bedroom <laughs> let's leave it like that all right so i'm going to say that's mostly finished and we just got a little bit of paint to finish up in here you get this color fix up that bit of roof nope we can't do that let's just go bucket tip bucket tip and then we have a little piece up here which we need to get to somehow how are we going to do that there we go. That is done. Awesome. So I'm going to say that is mostly finished for now. What I'm going to do off camera is I'm going to connect everything up to a bit of power, finish off these little bits of controls, and then we're going to spawn it in, make sure everything works. Uh, so I'm going to do that, and I'll be back in just a second. Okie dokie. So everything should be all connected up now and working. So let's jump aboard. Let's just teleport all the way up into the top. That's probably easiest. Let's run through a few things. So we have our screens on an angle here now. So you push number one, and we have a radar. And then on the other screen, we have the depth monitor. So that should all be working. So we'll definitely make sure that works when we get out to sea. Let's turn on a few lights as well. Boop. Very good. Very, oh, geez, very bright up here. 
<laughs> all right let's jump in here uh so let's go electrics that should all be working we have our map very good so we can zoom in and out of that can we yes we can awesome and we can cycle through all our cameras very good and we have infrared mode that works on all of them it should do yes it does great awesome Alrighty. so let's go forwards we do not need to start up the reactor at the moment because i have infinity electricity on so it doesn't really matter so let's come out a little bit we have our top speed of about what's that 58 ish give or take 57 yeah about 57 58 uh, we have our clock just there, and we have our artificial horizon. So our depth sensor looks like it's working as well. Very good. That's getting deeper. Nice. Okay, that should be all good. Um, what do we have over here? We have our reactor details. They look like they're all working. That should be fine. We have our anchor bits and pieces over here. That works. Good. Oh, okay. And that's just connected onto something. Let's have a look. That's on the side of the ship just there, as you can see. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we might just disconnect that one and we'll just bring that back up, I suppose. Uh, let's come back up. Yeah, we'll just leave it like that. Bring that one up as well. Very good. All right, should be all good. We have our ballast, so fill. So that's going up and the capacity is 74,000. Far out. That's going to take forever to get there. Goodness me. Uh, we might drain that, actually. <laughs> we don't need to fill that up right now. Um, so, yeah, everything looks like it's working pretty well. We have a bit of a block to paint just there. That's the camera, isn't it? Yes. Um, let's test out those lights that we added too. So, we've got spotlights, nav lights, helipad, rear deck, and the... Oh, rear deck spotlights. And then we have the rear deck lights themselves. So let's make sure that all works. Let's actually bring it uh, a bit darker. Uh, we got like something like that. That's fine. So, we have our spotlights, have our rear deck lights there. We have our nav lights on the roof. That is meant to be red just there, not white. So that's something we need to change. Our deck lights are working. And do those helipad lights work? I think they are. Let's turn off some other lights so we can see them a little bit better. Uh, turn off all of that. Let's go and have a look now. Oh, yeah. They're very faint, but they do work. As you can see, it's going around the H just there. Very good. Uh, let's make this back to daytime. That's a little bit better. But anyway, next episode, we're going to make sure that this whole ship is mission ready. So to do that, we're going to test out the submarine, the rear ramp, that rear boat, the diving room, and the garage, and whatever else we need to do. We know the container um, prongs works. So that is very good. But um, yeah, sorry that this video has been all over the place. We haven't worked on this thing for a while, so I kind of forgot where we're up to. But um, I just want to get this thing done so we can move on to something else, if I'm honest. But um, anyway, that is going to do us for now. I'd like to thank you all very much for watching, and I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next episode.